it is Ken and Ninja. It's bath time, obviously. Uh, it is Tuesday morning. Uh, it's probably like quarter after 10. Thought I'd uh, send you guys a quick little update video about uh, Carol's and my anniversary camping weekend. Uh, this is one of those things. Carol just said, let's go camping. And I'm like, book it. And so she found this really cool spot uh, in Algonquin Park. We left uh, Saturday afternoon. On the way up, we stopped at Mrs. H's Fish and Chips. And for some reason, I didn't take a picture of my food. Uh, I must be losing it or something. Or we just enjoyed it with each other and didn't videotape anything. Uh, so we got up to uh, Algonquin Park. I believe we stayed in Pog Lake Campgrounds. And Carol found a really good spot right by uh, the lake. And uh, it was like a, it's, there's a big lake, and then this was like a, I don't know, almost like a bay, but it's separated by a river. So I'm not sure if the little bay that we're in had a name or anything, but uh, it was a great spot. Uh, the the angle of the site was a little bit much. That's why I put out that picture of our front wheel on the wood because I still don't have. I think they're called wheel chocks, and. Uh, it's just for leveling your vehicles so that we're, you're not on a slant. So I found a tree stump and we had some wood. And so I we backed it into the best spot we possibly could to make it as level as we could. It was still definitely crooked, but not as dramatic as when we first pulled in there. But uh, it always takes a little bit of time to figure out exactly where you want to park your RV. Uh, if you have, you know, the levelers, then it doesn't really matter because you can just put it wherever you want it and uh, level your vehicle that way. Also, we wanted the sliding door to face the lake. So sometimes you're kind of stuck in the position that you need to be in because your preference is to have the sliding door away from the road. So when people are walking past, you can have your door open and you kind of have lots of privacy that way. Uh, that night, so we made up this like sloppy Joe mix and then I put two sunny side eggs on it with lots of cheese salt pepper and uh it was a really really good meal and then that night later on uh it poured and major thunderstorm like we were right in the middle of it the next day you could hear chainsaws going so the ministry or the uh the park rangers were out chopping up trees that i got struck by lightning and fell down or just got knocked over by the wind but it was insane and here's a little sample of that Next morning was fantastic, beautiful morning. I think it started off a little cloudy and then it cleared up and we had these like nice, beautiful, white, puffy, stringy clouds with blue sky. Uh, we made our breakfast and again, probably had a couple eggs and uh, bacon. Yeah, I put that, did I put that? No, it was the next day, I put the, up the next picture. But uh, we went for a nice, beautiful kayak ride. I believe it was around three and a half to four hours long. So it's definitely the longest kayak ride I have ever done. I think it was like 16 to 17 kilometers, very long. So we went from our little lake bay through Pog Lake into, um, I can't always forget the name of that lake, Lake of Two something, uh, and, but the wind was against us. <clears throat> so all the way out, the water current was against us. So we we're going up river uh, and then we, went through Pog Lake, which was fine. And then we had to go up river again to Lake of Two City, Lake of something. And then that lake, uh, the wind was blowing towards us the whole way across the lake. And then we found another river that Carol and her friend went on. 
and went up that river to a beautiful uh, waterfalls and rapids area and we had our lunch there uh, I had like um, nice long pieces of cheese rolled into a nice roasted turkey and I had like four of those and Carol had her sandwich when we got back from that adventure uh, Carol had marinated a beautiful flank steak that just barely fit into our cast iron frying pan but uh, we managed to cook it up perfect uh, and then cut it in half and we each ate half of the half which was still a lot of meat then we cut up the other two pieces for the next day for my lunches and snacks and stuff but uh, if you've ever had marinated flank steak it is the bomb after dinner we started a fire and had the fire pit going to set around that and enjoy each other's company uh, and kind of waited for uh, apparently there was supposed to be a major um, meteor shower and we only saw one uh, again it was starting to get late we we're both exhausted from the uh, the kayak ride so we had this beautiful sky hardly any clouds we only saw one meteor zip by, uh, but we we're exhausted. We didn't want to wait any longer. Uh, apparently, you're supposed to see like 90 an hour, but we only saw one, uh, and then we just went went to bed. Monday morning was another perfect morning. Sun coming through the clouds, nice and bright. Uh, we made breakfast, and uh, I just had uh, bacon and eggs, uh, and then packed our lunch, cut up the steak and everything, tore down our whole campsite loaded up the kayaks got everything uh put away and then uh we wanted to do a hike uh, on the bat lake trail and but before we got there we went to uh, i don't think it's the visitor center it's just one of those stores ice cream uh shops and uh it's just like a souvenir shop went in there grabbed a brand new Algonquin sticker Carol got to put that on the on our fridge in the van and then from there we went to uh, Bat Lake hike trail. It was about six kilometers. I burned around uh, 1700 calories on that and uh, Probably for, actually no, it's 1800 cal calories for the whole day, you know the packing up the van going on the hike, getting home. And when I took my watch off at night, I burned 1800 calories. So I'm not sure 100% how many calories I burned on that trail, but it was definitely a lot of up and down. It's like a moderate trail, uh, not difficult and not easy, but uh, yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a good trail, lots of scenery, a lot of mushrooms, big mushrooms, and uh, some beautiful scenery to see on that trail. And I think we finished that trail probably around uh, 3, 3.30, and then we just uh, drove home nice and calm. Uh, we stopped at the Kawartha uh, Dairy Place, and there's they have a, a non-dairy kind of sherbet yogurt, not a yogurt, but like a, I guess like a sherbet thing, and it's like a red raspberry, uh, and that's one of Carol's favorite things when she's either going to Algonquin Park or coming home. I didn't have anything. I just had uh, that leftover steak and some bacon and some cheese. I think we got home at around seven. Again, we just kind of dawdled all the way home. And uh, as soon as we got home, unpacked moose, cleaned it out, repacked uh, Rusty because I'm going on another adventure for you guys. Haven't shot anything for a few days because it was our anniversary. Uh, thanks for all the uh, best wishes on the anniversary post that I put up. And uh, Carol and I had a great time. Thanks for watching, guys. And again, thanks for all the, the love and support you guys give us in the comment section. Ciao.